Good afternoon, welcome to my laboratory. Here's a simple little uh, catcher or slayer exciter style RF oscillator. It has a very complicated circuit, as you can see. This transistor over here is a TIP35C transistor. Base, collector, emitter. There's a five turn primary and well, I don't know how many turns there are on that, I forgot to count. For the secondary. There's a little neon bulb on the end. And I'm going to connect it to 14 volts from the power supply. And I guess you can see that the neon is glowing brilliantly. And I can draw a little RF arc off of that to my fingertip. The clamp on meter. shows whatever I want it to show depending on where I hold it without even being clamped to anything. Four hundred amps, imagine that. Oh, by the way, it's uh, drawing three hundred and fifty milliamps from at uh, fourteen volts from the DC power supply. So that's uh, about 5 watts, I guess. Here's a compact fluorescent. As you can see, it lights up. Here's a little incandescent bulb. This is a 120 watt nightlight bulb, 5 watts. You see that puppy? one wire here's a 60 watt equivalent LED bulb right here Here's another little automotive tail light bulb. And uh, let's see, can you see the plasma activity in there? This is without it even being connected to the coil itself. This is just free pickup. Oh, is there too much light? Sorry about the wire. Not even connected. Let's go back to the LED bulb. And of course the clamp on meter again. It's clamping on something, why don't you? It's overloaded, over a thousand amps. Can you imagine that? RF high voltage needs special techniques to measure properly. You can't just do it with casual meters. Thank you for watching.